For more on the Knicks, we welcome in our NBA insider, Ian Begley. And Ian, first game in a while, it seems where Julius Randle really looked more like his old self. And, hey, we even got to hear his thoughts after the game. What exactly did you see Sunday from Julius? Yeah, to me, Julius Randle played within himself. Uh, he took good shots. He moved the ball. And I think, by and large, we've been seeing that from Randle over the past couple of weeks. I mean, he's had some hiccups here and there, but for the most part, I think he's picked his shots well. He hasn't made shots as consistently as he had last season, but he hasn't shot the Knicks out of a game. And you saw the turnovers late in the game, but the Knicks were able to hold on and get a, a much needed win at home against the Clippers. Definitely. And R.J. Barrett, not the most efficient day for him, taking 24 shots to get his 28 points. But the key is he's taking more shots lately. Would you agree he's been much more aggressive as of late? Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, uh, late last month and, you know, early January, he had actually said that there were a couple of games where he just wasn't aggressive enough. And then he came out and the ball was in his hands more. I think you're seeing him get opportunities at the top of the floor more with the ball in his hands, opportunities to create off the dribble. And he's done a really good job getting out in transition when possible. So Barrett has certainly been more aggressive on offense. Uh, he did a little bit of everything today against the Clippers. And the Knicks are going to need more of that because they have a tough stretch of games coming up, including the next three on the road against playoff type opponents. And it seems like, you know, he's really becoming the leader of this team, and they desperately need one uh, in these times. Now, Cam Reddish uh, made his Knicks debut on Sunday, getting just five minutes of action and scoring only two points. How do you see Tom Thibodeau working him into the rot rotation in the near term? In the near term, I think it's going to be based on injuries and who's in the lineup. Uh, against the Clippers, Kemba Walker was out, so it gave Reddish a uh, clear opportunity to get into that rotation. But in a big picture sense, I really think there's going to ha have to be a trade here to shake things up and to open up a path for Cam Reddish to get into the rotation. Now the trade deadline is February 10th. Uh, so the Knicks obviously have some time to get something done, but it's hard to see Reddish have uh, consistent minutes with this group. If everyone, Derek Rose included is healthy. So that's why I think the Knicks will try to get something done here trade-wise to open up some minutes for Cam Reddish. And hopefully you'll be the one breaking that news, you know, if, in, if indeed a trade does happen for the Knicks. Ian Begley, yes, thanks sir. so much, man.